do not bother about the the uh, the list map uh, or any other you know the set if you have any uh, form of the collection inside your code just create yeah. data wait a minute just create data of the object the object which you are uh, using and uh, you know like like for example at line number you know the uh, 13 you know that you know you have to create the wave content content data and uh, okay then you know you so do we follow the same strategy as the normal test class i'm telling you i'm telling you go back yeah. go back to the same class. so you know the you will be first creating the contract data that yeah. means you have to insert a contract right and then you know uh, in the you the creation of the contract should be at the uh, in a method with the added it test setup okay now yeah. in the method with the uh, annotation added is test you will mm -hmm. query that contract and will update something in the contract okay okay so this this will automatically will you know the your uh, test class will automatically take care of all these you know the map and everything okay if you want to try then try it right now go into test class yeah account test class and always you know they try to uh, the uh, start you wait, wait 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 okay no problem well, in future yeah. in future always yeah. you know the give the class name the test class name the first with the test what what did you say i start with so this is for this one here so basically, um, this is for contracts. We are creating a new contract. Do one, um, do one thing. Go into mm -hmm. Salesforce UI and check what are the required fields we have for contract. No, this is con we need contracts. It's the account name, the status, contract start date, term length. So, so we will create the data at least for all the required fields okay uh, okay Can't, uh, i want to open one right? using at least these required fields mm -hmm. so first we have to create account because yep. the okay the parent. okay so we have to create an account in the test class at the beginning right yes okay so okay and wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. At line number five, the curly braces are not correct. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. So it's only the account name that's needed here. Account name. So only the account name is what's needed. So here I can put just account name and then I can put insert account, right? Yes. And then I will need to just to do a um, contract now. Yes. Contract CO equal new contract. Okay, so basically, uh, so account account ID is it A C like here? It's saying account. If I go to a contract, it's account ID here. Wait. So I reference it as account ID, the wait. name of the account. Wait, I'm telling you. Wait, wait, wait. Go back to the code. No code. 
Where? Into the code. code. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you have the variable co, right? Mm -hmm. This is to reference co dot. Sorry. Yeah. Now account ID. Okay. Okay. But we, but we don't have the ID. No, we will be giving the ID now. E equal. Yeah. Now we have created the account at line number six. Seven. Yes. Right. So now write AC, the value which we are using AC. Mm -hmm. Right now, dot ID. Okay. So here, okay, so then the second field, which is, is the status. Contract start date. I just see all dot start date, and the second one is contact term. Contract term length. Okay, contract term. It's contract start Is it good? Uh, you will get the error, and actually, you are getting the error at line number 13. Do I need to put it between like this? Yes, so no, so do one thing uh, try saving it, try saving it, try saving it. Try what? Try uh, saving uh, your code. Let's see, mm -hmm. then I will give you a solution. I tried saving. Okay. Now, whenever you know you have to create a date, always now remove this code. Uh, remove this uh, date. Mm -hmm. Yes. Now write down system. System. Dot. Mm -hmm. Today. Okay. Line terminator. Line terminator. I have a question. If I wanted to update first day of the month, what do I put here? If you want to update, when you want to uh, give the exactly that day, so yeah. Views. That see, I have shared you on the chat. What is this one? Yeah, copy this, copy this in, in the chat. Yep. Okay, now in instead of you know the system dot today, uh, re replace this with the system dot today. Okay. So oh, only system dot today. Yes. And now put the year, the year which you want to put. Note. Now after this, put comma. Now month. 
and uh, the date. Okay. Okay. So close the bracket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now remove this line number seventeen. Okay. Now see, there is no error at line number. Okay. Mm. Now wait, 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 wait. You are doing I'm a waiting. First, you have to query account. Oh, okay. So since I create account, I have to query query account. Okay. We want you to create the instance. You just have to query it. Okay. Select ID. You freaked me out, Karim. Okay. Select ID name. I was focusing and I just saw someone walking in the dark. Mm -hmm. Okay, name. Okay, good night. Good night. You let go. Good night. Select ID name from account. Limit one. Um, is it good? Uh, is, do I do um, the do I do the contract here and the same one or in a separate one? You will query the contract and all the required okay. fields. Ready the contract now. Now update any of the field in this code at line number 15. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Wait. In this code at line number 15. Okay. It is, it is showing that you know the one of the contract has been updated and uh, not any specific field, but any of the field of the contract has been updated. Okay. So update the main contract then in your test class. Update here? Yes, now after system or table, give enter. At, 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 yeah. Now, wait, 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 wait. You have to put the data first, then, then only you will update now. So put CO dot start date equal system dot today and by the way uh, what is the date today i don't know one sec Just seven. Seven. 11 11 11 okay mm -hmm. so then okay now update co Save your uh, test class and uh, run the test. First, check your uh, it is updating. It is completely covering now. So what we did here is only just update. Why did we choose system dot today here? You can choose any of the field of the contract. Any of the field. No, I mean, can we choose any date? Yes, any date, but should not be the same which you have provided while, while creating the contract. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now do one thing. After line number 29. After line what? After line number 29. Yes. 
29 after line number after after give a enter yeah now write test dot start test start what start test yeah bracket like make it function and line terminator what is this i'm telling you i'm telling you after the line number 31 give enter okay test dot stop test give enter yes so basically you know the test or start test and test or stop test function is you know very well that you know the, we have the govern limit in our sales force and you are performing the you know dml operation inside this uh, uh, inside the test class at line number 31 okay so this test or start test and test or stop test will refresh your governor limit okay whatever you know till till uh, i mean till the line number 29 whatever maybe you know the governor limit we have or the dml governor limit we have but as soon as we will reach inside this test or start test and start test and test or stop test, the governor limit will may refresh. Okay. Okay. So this is the one. What's of the, the what's the so why do we need to refresh it? Why we do? Why do we need to refresh it? Okay. Now. You remember that we have the you know the uh, the one total total DMS statement uh, uh, we can run how many DMS statement we can run in, the, in our sales force? How many what? How many DMS statement we can run? I think insert, delete, update, undelete. Governor limit. Oh, how many government limit? Yeah. I don't know. 150. 150 what? Total 150 DMS statement we can uh, we can make in our uh, single transaction. Okay, so. So total is 150 DML statements per org. No, not per org, per transaction. I will I will share I will share you this. Okay. Okay. Now, you know the let's say whatever you know you are doing, whatever you are doing, uh, test classes. This is a, this is a small test class. Okay, so you are if you are able to see, okay, you know the, uh, I mean, these sort of you know the image statement I have run so far. Okay. To avoid the you know the uh, governor limit in uh, in our test class, we use test or start test and test or stop test mm -hmm. it, this will refresh it so in this way you can use it on a, in a very big number of records with no issues right yeah i'm sorry your question please that means if it's more than 150 dml statement per transaction it will not cause an issue right no it will not okay Okay, it's clear. So now run your uh, now go to the test class. No, no, not from here, not from here, not from here. You just made a change in the in the method. Now what we were doing is test test on the top test. This is the latest. No, I'm saying that you have made a small change in your test class. Now what now what what will you do to run the test class? Oh, hold on. Yes. Contract account as well. What's the difference between here and here? Okay. See, if you will click on the run test, you know, right on yeah. the one method. But for example, you have a, you know, the made two, three methods. So if you will click on the run test, all these uh, main method will execute, okay? But we want, you know, the uh, I told you to just to check whether you have uh, 
uh, whether your changes are correct or not. So you have to, you know, the, uh, run the only that particular uh, method in which you have made a change. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now. This is giving you 100% coverage. I don't, I'm sorry, yeah, it's 100%. Yeah. So all the lines are covered. And you're confused? Yes. Sold, sold as no, well? it's clear. No, it's clear. It is clear? Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now, there is, a, you know, the any other confusion? No. Okay. Now, there is, a, you know, the one more thing. Uh, that is system dot run is yes hello yeah i can hear you okay so go to the test lab so this one yeah now at the last okay at the after line 38 Now, write down. There is a you know the my uh, one more uh, thing that is system dot run is system dot what run is run as yeah okay now bracket bracket so basically you know the system dot run is a uses to check your code in context of any particular user okay. Generally, you know the our our code works for the system. Uh, our code works in system mode, right? That means mm -hmm. no, no. Uh, the our code do not bother about the you know the any particular users permission uh, restrictions, right? Mm -hmm. But if you want to if you want to check the you know the code in a part uh, in form of any uh, I mean particular uh, user, then we use the mm -hmm. system mode runners. System mode runner helps us uh, in one more thing that is, you know, the uh, you can create even if you don't have the license of creating the user, but for the mm -hmm. you know, the, uh, the uh, test class purpose, if you use the system mode runners, you can create the user as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, you can run it as any user you want. I'm sorry. So and this way you can run it as any user you want yes yes in the context of any user if, uh, okay now why, why do you why do you need to run it in the context of any user i told you that they, they, i told you that the you know the, uh, for example there's a scenario in which you know uh, you want to check whether my code is working fine or not for uh, this particular user right so okay it's it's similar to login as other user right yes okay okay because okay. you know the uh, generally our code do not uh, do not work for the uh, you know the uh, user mode our code we write the code in uh, for our uh, system mode you know where we do not bother about the any particular restrictions for any user right or any permissions okay mm -hmm. Any doubt in this? No, it's clear. No, no, go to setup. It says was UI. Yep, okay, setup. Yes. I'm in setup. What do you want me to put? System administrator? I can't see that in that particular page. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm on another screen. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. yeah now, system, yeah. Yes, so you know, copy the system administrator. Okay. Okay, and write down where uh, select ID from profile where. Yeah. Profile. No, capital B. Equal. In a, yes. Paste it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And after after this line terminator. Okay. Now we are going to create a user. So user capital U. 
then give a give a space where any variable any variable variable I don't understand. Like, do I put any value for the user, any name? No. Like in the line number 11, you are creating a variable of account. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. Why? Wait, wait, wait. Why are you querying the data here? We just need to create a data for the user. So, okay. user. Why we're querying the data here? I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Yeah. Sorry. No problem. So, right, user u equals to user, new user, mm -hmm. new user. E new user, okay. Okay, and the bracket. Okay. Okay, line terminator. Now, we have the, you know, the, uh, all the required fields of the user, like last name, alias, uh, email, license, profile. Mm -hmm. Okay, so go, go into say uh, user object. Okay, and uh, either either click on new user or uh, you can uh, click uh, click on existing. Okay, now the required field is. Email username. Now copy this and let's create data for this one. Give any username. Email as well, right? Yes. Should be, uh, I think it will give error. So it, it's better you can create a test at your test.com. What do I do? Uh, test.com at your test.com. The same way, just create the data for all the required fields. Last name, nickname. Role. Is this needed? User license? Yes. Or you can do one thing. Uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm sorry. Uh, no, you can give the, uh, the profile. Wait, 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 not not like this, not like this, not like this, not like this. Profile ID. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Now go back okay. to the code. So you dot profile ID right now. At line of 13. Remove this. Remove this. No, you should you will your your developer console will tell you. Remove this. Yes. Now remove dot as well. Remove dot as well. Now put dot. 
and go slow. P, write P. See, there is an option profile ID, right? So your developer mm -hmm. console tells you equal. Now mm -hmm. the, you have created a profile there at the uh, you have queried the profile at uh, line number uh, seven. So not not no no don't use it don't use it. Remove this string. Yeah. Now P dot ID. What? P dot ID. P is the variable which you have used. Mm -hmm. Dot ID. Okay. Okay. Now mm -hmm. insert U. Okay. Okay. Now come down. No, no. Now come just simply, simply uh, come down. Don't give a space. So okay. you have given the uh, you have given the username, email, last name. Okay. okay. Give, the, give one alias as well. Alias. Or for user. Now, come down. Now, first is first save your code. I save this. Uh, what's the error address it is showing? Okay. So you were you were using the uh, some other option. So let me just. Uh, So the mistake was the, uh, you know, the, you are using the profile. You can use the here. Name? Yes. Line number fourteen uh, missing. Okay, so this is missing. Okay, now, mm -hmm. now we will check that you know the uh, what is our uh, user is and I I mean the user we have created. Okay. So we will be doing the same thing now using system dot okay. system dot run as right? Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. So we already have run system. Oh, so do I put it here? Sorry. Oh, no, no. You're having control. Sorry, I didn't know.
I think it is giving the mixed DML error. Yeah, mixed DML error. <clears throat> so for this, I have, uh, you know, we have to use a different solution. Uh, but let me resolve it. Can we use the test at test? No, no. This actually this is a mixed DML error. So mixed DML error, uh, I will explain you. Uh, this, is a, this is a different topic. So I will uh, explain you how to you know resolve this mixed DML error. But let me try to uh, put a temporary, uh, I mean, uh, temporary fix so that you know you can, I can show you. <clears throat> okay, so this is the temporary fix I have given. Uh, let me, you know, the rerun this test class. Okay, now let's check the logs. This you can provide, you know, when you are creating the data of the uh, of the user, you can provide later on. Okay. So, you know, this is the now you, what you are doing is to just to make you understand that you have created your user. Now you are patching your uh, you are uh, querying your user, and you are using system dot run as so the system. The entire, you know, the, the whatever is we have written inside this bracket, inside the curly braces, you know, will run in uh, in the context of the this user which you have created it, uh, created ever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is a different topic. No, no. I, I just explain you the system dot run as. So what yeah. you have done is. The mixed demon error is a different topic. I will explain to you. But the system dot run is what? System dot run is, is you know you have created a user ever. Now you are querying it, and uh, you are you know using system dot run is at line number thirty six. Now you have the curly braces, right? So inside the curly braces, whatever you have written so far will run in the context of the user which you have created and okay. you have queried at, at line number 34 mm -hmm. okay yeah 